This video will discuss the solution to question 16, which is a true-false statement that goes as follows. If Vb is Va in figure 1, the ideal amplifier op2 can be replaced by an ideal wire connecting Va and Vb without affecting the behavior of the circuit. If we were to remove op2 and directly connect Va and Vb, then the inverting amplifier and its resistors that configure it would actually load on the frequency-dependent network and vice versa. That means that the specifically tuned parameters under which the Barkhausen criterion was satisfied do not apply to that circuit anymore. The unity gain buffer in between the frequency selective network and the inverting amplifier isolate the impedance levels between this node and this node. And that ensures that the Barkhausen criterion is satisfied. So the statement above is not true. It is false.